If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily tort again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey! Are you trying to kill us here? Hey! All the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. This train will be long gone if you don't pick up the pace. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick and fondling that new scar that you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Now go to wreck the wagon. Hey, slow down a bit. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Because I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. They're left here, towards roads. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, this oh. again. Fine, damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we got the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. If you shoot your mouth, you'll get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. Help you three where I can. All right for some. <laughs> Cherry picking, I call that. We'll be out in the middle of nowhere, so it'll take a while for any word to get to the law. But oh, look what you're we doing. should still move quick. Why are you driving like a madman? Oi, oi, Scarface. Oh, shut up, please. Hey, folks, Marston, we're at the railroad. Just carry on a bit further. Stop the 
wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Mr. Marston, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, ha! get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want to die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Join us on there. Everything you got. What are you doing, Mr. M? Get up here. Come 
Come on, Mr. M. Can't clock here. Maybe what you got, Mister. You won't get her. Do anything. Reach for your money. Nothing there. Make me hurt you. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. You hear me? Look at you. Empty your pockets, mister, and you can be on your way. What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? Brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice. Arthur, we got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Well, in that case, we're fighting. Marston, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way, neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more to turn enough. Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Last chance. Drop your weapons and get up. Shit, we got more on the left. Shit, fuck! Fuck, coming through the trees, you see him?
Yeah, that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a ring.